Hey guys, welcome back to Art Adventures. Today, we're gonna build ourselves a little house out of Legos. I'm gonna go ahead and start off um, by giving you guys the foundation of your house. First things first, um, you can put the door wherever you want on this piece of grass, but um, I already had this built because I already had the house, deconstructed it, and now I'm building it again. So. Um, you can go ahead and make a pathway however you want um, to make it. All right, so now that I have our door, it's gonna be three two by twos, or two by ones, excuse me. And then we're gonna do a four by two here and another one on the side. Next thing we're gonna do is basically just build a foundation background. All right, now, we're gonna jump into um, this here, do a four by one across, four by one across. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, put in our divider between the door and our windows. So a one by two next to our door. And then in that empty slot, you're gonna put either a two by one brick um, that's clear. Um, I don't have those, so I have the little ramps. So I'm just facing it backwards, so you don't really see the ramp because the ramp's gonna be on the inside. Okay, but I want this window to be um, as tall as the door, so I want it to be a little elevated. So I'm gonna put two of those there on each side. So now we have a gap here. All we gotta do is close that gap by putting a one by two here. You could use a one by one as well. Um, and right there. So now we gotta finish the sides of the house um, and either do a four by one, but I don't have any. So I'm using some two by two or two by ones and creating my four by one. You always use what materials you have. Um, and that's probably the best way um, to build Legos is it doesn't have to be exact pieces. Um, it's fun to just kind of create your own shape based off of what you have. Now I don't have a backside, so I'm just gonna build it up. I'm gonna kind of just build it up with bigger blocks, four by twos. If you have a four by or a eight by two, then use that to kind of build it up. There's no detail here because it's the back of the house. The back of the house isn't what we're really looking at. We're looking at the front of the house. Um, so I did that. And since I don't have any eight by twos, and I don't want to just use four by twos because then it's going to get, um, the walls will be weak. And since there's a little line in the middle between the two four by twos, I want to separate or get that line to be um, connected. I'm going to use a six by two. And then that leaves me a little gap here and a little gap here, which you could use, um, say, a two by one, fill it in here. You could use a one by one if you wanted to. I just want to give the back of the house a little bit of detail um, just to give it a little look so it's not just a flat uh, yellow wall. So I'm using these pieces, which are typically something that looks like more like a Lego head. Okay, and I'm putting it to the side here. And that is going to go right there and right there in those two gaps. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start building the top of the house so then we can put a roof on it. Okay, so we have three here in a corner, but we're missing here since that's a ramp. So I'm gonna use a two by two and that's probably the best way to um, connect those and um, have it sturdy. If you have a four by two, that'd be perfect to just go straight across. Um, I don't have any more of those. So I created my own by using two blocks that are two by two each. This uh, door, if you can see, is very loose. So I don't want to keep that loose by putting a two by two over that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to the walls by using a four by one, okay? And now it's sturdy, it won't move at all. Even if I try to move this one, the door won't move, okay? I have these two little gaps. So I'm gonna use a one by one, fill in that gap. On each side 
then I'm gonna take this back piece and do a four by two, fill in that gap with a two by one and another two by one. And this hollow part does not necessarily matter. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna take a flat four by two, put it here. Take a flat four by two, put it on the edge here. If it connects in, there you go. Okay, another four by two flat piece. Put that corner. There you go. There you go. You can go four by two, four by two, four by two, four by two, four by two. It still works. Same thing, same amount. Um, I just decided to go um, diagonal like this. All right, so now that I have my roof line, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, these red ramps as the sides of my roof, okay? And I need two of them for each side so I can have a little overhang on the actual roof itself. We're not gonna do that on the front. We're just gonna do it on the sides. So it'll be like four by one with a ramp. We're gonna do that on the exact same, uh, the same way on the opposite side. So now um, we're gonna fill this spot in and we're gonna take a two by six, since I don't have a two by eight or an eight by two, and then I'm gonna fill that spot in with a two by two. We don't want the same thing. We want it to be a stronger structure. So we go opposite. It's a six by two, same thing, but you don't want a six by two and a six by two, two by two, two by two, because then it'll be a little bit weaker. We want it to be um, as strong as possible so it doesn't break. All right, next thing, we're gonna go ahead and Put a six by two there and a two by two there, and that'll give you a uh, one row across the entire formation of the roof. Kind of give it like a pitched roof style. All right, so now you have the general shape of a house with the roof. We're gonna go ahead and take these two by ones, okay? And we're gonna make ourselves a chimney. I don't want the chimney to be right on the corner here. I want it to be offset, but one side over, okay? Take two more uh, two by ones, and I'm not gonna do the same direction. I'm gonna flip the direction so that it's uh, one, stronger, two, looks like bricks, okay? Next thing, same thing. And now that we have ourselves a brick uh, chimney, we're gonna top it off so it's strong and doesn't fall apart with the brown four by uh, or two by two um, base plate, um, kind of a flat piece, and that'll finish off our actual structure. So I went ahead and made a little flower bed, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just put those, if you wanna add those, go right ahead. Um, this is not uh, something that needs to be done. If you don't have these pieces, that is okay. Um, but I decided that I wanted to do those um, and just have fun with it. So I went ahead and made four of them. I made it asymmetrical, so it's not the same colors on the same exact spots, so on and so forth. So um, it looks a little bit um, better that way. Last part, and this is not necessary, but I made myself a tree to go in the front yard to finish off our house and picture. And there you go, there you have it. You have yourself a little yellow house with a red roof and a chimney, a tree, pavement, and a flower bed. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like this. If you do, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any other ideas or suggestions or a request that you'd like for me to make a tutorial on. Um, and if, uh, if anything, shoot me a comment. Guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you again. Um, every time you guys share, like, comment, um, and so on. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.